Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Here to Slay! Exclusive Edition. Woo! I don't really know what's different from this, but this is a game done by the Unstable Unicorn folks. AKA T-Turtle! So they've actually now created a secondary company of call Unstable Unicorn. So this is one of their most recent games. I've already pre-ordered their following game. I get most of their games. So this is basically a kind of really meta D&D game. The blurb on the back is, are you ready to slay? Here to Slay is a strategic role-playing fantasy card game from the creators of Unstable Unicorns. In this game, you'll assemble a full party of heroes and slay dangerous monsters while sabotaging your friends crossed out. Enemies, brace yourself for a fast-paced, adorable, and utterly destructive adventure. And this game had a lot of extra things you could get. I got all the gameplay elements and uh, a few other things, but all the extra stuff that I got will be with the stretch goals in a following video. I also already have the first expansion, which was released after the Kickstarter, which will be another video. So, let's get to this. It's done in, obviously, the same art style as Unstable Unicorns, which is also how a lot of their shirts are done. I'm not actually wearing a T-Turtle shirt today. Ha ha, for once. Um, but, yeah. At least I don't think this is. Alright, so, um, huh. Uh, it's a magnetic box. Which is always appreciated. The instructions are a eight-panel page pamphlet. So, very similar to Unstable Unicorns. This version comes with its own cardboard dice tower. Ooh. Let's put that together real quick. Because dice towers, they're cool. They're not something I actively pay for. But I'm never going to argue against having them. Hmm. Uh, it looks like this rulebook is very specific to this version. Either that or this comes with every version. Because I can see the dice tower right there. Do do. Putting together a dice tower. Kind of awkwardly. Do do. Still not as awesome as the magnetic ones I've seen, but those are really expensive. And I think they're wormwood, which, oh boy, everything from them is expensive, and usually for good reason. Um. This looks correct. Yep. Photo. So, clearly meant to go on a table as it doesn't have a bottom for itself. Also doesn't have a back or a front to the tower, but it would still work because goes in, trough style, hits this part in the back, and you still get dice. Yay! Nice simple cardboard one. Not going to complain. Also, definitely breaks down very easily. Okay, that's cool. All right, comes with uh, two D6s. These are the Unstable Unicorn style dice, and I say that because the one, I think that's the one, yes, the one is a unicorn horn. Uh, otherwise, it's just normal numbered dice, gold on a glossy blue, black, I don't know, I want to say onyx, but... Eh. And then we've got one, two, four sets of cards. I thought this was one. Um, two standard size and two tarot size. Let's start with the tarot size cards because I believe those are a lot more important to the game. Not that everything here isn't important. Oh, yay, vacuum sealed. Increasing the likeliness that cards get damaged in the process of just opening them. Uh, uh, trying not to ruin the cards in the process. Okay, so the one pack is... Party leaders. These are basically, I think, the player characters. I feel like there's stuff missing, and it might be under the thing. Like, I could swear there were player boards. But that might have been other versions. I will have to check. Because, again, there was a lot of extra stuff to this game. So, we've got, I think, a fox, maybe a red panda. The brutal bow, who has dismounted tiny bows. The Veiled Raider, a guardian thief who is a kitty unicorn. The Mystical Maestro, wizard bard, squirrel. 
Fist of Reason as a fighter. And just bear, bear punches. A two-tailed fox, I believe, and not yellow or orange. The Divine Arrow, Ranger. The Shadow Claw, a split-tailed, two-tailed cat is a thief. Obviously, a lot of these are more fantasy-ish. The Protecting Horn, a guardian, and a winged unicorn. The Cloak Sage, I, I don't know. Oh, no, no, that's a bunny. That's a bunny just with antlers, and I don't think that would make it a jackalope because it's a druid. No, it's not even a druid. So it's a jackalope. It's a wizard. And a squirrel, the charismatic song. Who's a bard? Cool. So those, from what I remember, are basically the main characters you play as, and you make a party with other minor characters like Bad Axe. And then looks like we've got some baddies here, because, again, the whole point of the game is to, well, kill the baddies. It's kind of like a who brings the better trophy home kind of thing. I really hope there isn't some, like, killing blow or stuff like that. I hope it's who does actually the most damage, but, eh, who knows. Underhand tactics are underhand tactics. I just really don't like killing blows being the counting thing from uh, my days of playing uh, League of Legends. Come on. Come on, people. Stop vacuum sealing this stuff. Like, yeah, I, I just scraped it on the side of cards, getting this open. Eh, say levy. So, we've got the Titan Wyvern, Malamammoth, Warworn Owlbear, the Dark Dragon King, Othrus, and Rex Major. So, a three headed dragon and a two headed dog. And then just a D Rex. Terra Tugga, Arctic Ares, and Abyss Queen, being a giant turtle, a goat, and a giant spider. Aurora and Cauldron, Corrupted Sabretooth, and Mega Slime, which I kind of want to plush of that. I don't know why, I just really like gelatinous cubes and things like that. They're adorable. Bloodwing, oh, that's definitely a reference to Borderlands. Crown Serpent and Dracos. Okay, so, yeah, it must have been one of the other editions that came with boards, or they might have just been separate editions entirely. I don't know if they make a huge difference or not, but whatever. All right, on to the standard size cards, which I don't mind being vacuum sealed when it's th this thick. We've got what looks like... A, so this one's mostly heroes, and then we start getting into... Uh, extra items, I'm guessing, with both magic and items, like actual items. So we've got Bear Axe, Knuckle Fury, and Berry Wise. These are all fighters. Heavy Bear, Bear Claw, and Tough Teddy. Is this game being racist? Like, oh, all the fighters are bears. I'm kidding, but it, they do all look like bears. The Q-Bear, Q-I, Panchucks, and Berserker. I have a whole other board game coming that isn't made by these people. That's basically the entire theme of the, the last card. Then we've got some Rangers of Sirius Grey, Wild Shot, and Looky Rookie. That's a cute name on the last one. I have no context of what these things do game-wise. Quick Draw, Hook, and Bullseye. Wily Red, Sharp Fox, and Hoodwink. Then on to some Thieves, which look to be all cats, and those look to be all foxes. Kidnapper, Sly Pickings, and Meowzio. Meowzio. Mm -hmm. Plundering Puma, Silent Shadow, and Slippery Paws. Sure Kitty, Smooth Mini Meow, and Purring Bandit. 
Then, yep, the Guardians are all Unicorns with Guardian Light, Holy Crucifier, and Radiant Horn. Wise Shield, it's got a beard too. Vibrant Glow and Iron Resolve. Ooh, ha ha. Followed by Mighty Blade, Calming Voice, and Complex Illusion. Then the wizards are all rabbits, by the looks of it, with Hopper, Buttons, Spooky, much more simple names. Wiggles, Whiskers, Fluffy. Yep, more. Not complaining about simple names, just pointing out. Bun Bun, Snowball, and Meanie. That's adorable. And Squirrels for Bards. Mellow D, Lucky Bucky, and Fuzzy Cheeks. Napping Nibbles, which literally has the effect of do nothing. Uh, I'm guessing with these numbers, it's roll dice. And like that's a 2 plus, here's a 6 plus, or so on a dice roll. Tipsy Tootie and Dodgy Dealer. And then uh, Greedy Cheeks, Peanut, and Hamlet. Hamlet yeah, looks like he's trying real hard to play. Because he's got like three instruments at once. And then we also have the druid and warrior characters of Enchantler, and the druid is a stag, and Nibble Gray being a wolf, possibly a dog. The expansion that came out afterwards is entirely these classes, or at least it's supposed to be. Then we've got bunch of spells right off the bat. I'm assuming these are the more... Nope, spells are just gray. Items are just dark gray, and there was only one. Uh, destructive spell, entangling trap. Two copies of each of those. Critical boost, enchant spell. Also two copies of those. Forced exchange and winds of change. Only one copy of forced exchange with two of the winds of change. And then one of each of the following of... Forceful Winds, Call to the Fallen, and Captive Spell. Okay, so then we've got the other packet, and the one other item, which I'll just use with that one, because the other one starts off with items. Which is also the same item on the front of particular rusty coin, and a really big ring, just a giant diamond on a ring, two of each of those. Decoy doll, it's adorable. Fighter's mask, ranger's mask, thief's mask, guardian's mask, wizard's mask, and bard's mask. Make a couple of those more visible. Mysterious feather, suspicious shiny coin, just one of each of those. Curse of the Snake's Eye. Looks like a ring. Maybe a bracelet. Uh, yeah, some of these are cursed items, by the way. Ceiling Key and Mask of Misfortune. Just a paper bag. Uh, and then we got some generic modifiers, which all look like potions. They're, they're different types of potions, like... There's a bunch of plus two, minus two. Some ones that are labeled as plus three, minus one. Plus one, minus three. A really shiny looking one of uh, plus four. And then the chained up one of is four with a couple individual number ones like, or like individual copies of different numbers um, followed by a bunch of challenge cards that all look like this at least the generic one does there's a whole bunch of them uh, they all have the same back as all the other stuff so i don't know if these are meant to be in a deck of their own or whatever and then there is one of each of the six original classes challenge cards. 
with, lastly, six player summary cards. So that's everything this time around. Uh, it does all come in a nice tray also in the box. The dice go here. I'm hoping this fits in here. Okay, and it's got the little opening there so that, oh, that better fit. Uh, that looks like a bit of poor planning there. And it sort of fits the dice tower. But that's everything this time around. Um, I've been really wanting to get this game open for a while. It's been sitting around a long time because of the great unboxing, but it came in after that. So it's good to finally have it open. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press that dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as, would you like to see a how to play of this or a detailed overview? Uh, I won't bother doing a component overview because it's two dice, a dice tower, instructions, and a bunch of cards. And as for the detailed overview, I have asked the company for permission, but have yet to hear back. So I'll ask again if people want to see more. I have not forgotten about the fact that people would like to see videos for Unstable Unicorns, and there was an expansion to Unstable Unicorns with this Kickstarter that will be another video as well. Or if you want to comment about, you know, other cute things in general, because it's not like I don't have plenty of cute things and don't love cute stuff, like my new little pillow that says be cute and do magic. But also, if you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, or anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.